Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to make a spear point or an arrowhead out of these old toilet tanks. So first of all, you just break it. Then you got a piece, flat piece of porcelain that you can work with traditional flint napping techniques. All right, here's our piece of porcelain from the toilet. And here's a copper bopper, which you saw in a previous video. You could also use a deer antler or even a piece of wood. And what I'm going to try to do is start knocking pieces off on the bottom and then flip it so I get a zigzag edge. So I flip it, hit this little corner right here. So I took a piece off and a piece off. So now I'll keep working that edge. kind of crude, but you can see that it's a zigzag. And I go all the way around the piece. All right, it's already taken shape. I have to get rid of this flat surface and make it a lot thinner. To make this thinner, this is the tricky part. You have to drive flakes off of the piece across the face by hitting on one of these deltas. So for example, this right here is a delta or a platform, and you would hit down and it'll take a piece off like that. So let me show you that particular strike. I'm going to hold it in my hand, which is why I'm using the glove, supporting it very firmly against my leg. And so that took a chip right here. These are going to be fairly small chips, but you just want to start going around the piece, thinning it, getting a beveled edge. I'm just going to keep working it. You notice the center line is getting better. And every place it's low, I'm hitting that off and then trying to get it as far across the face as possible. Okay, the rough work is done. So at this point, I'm gonna start driving flakes with my pressure flaker. Again, everywhere there's a high spot, or a low spot in this case, I'll pluck that off. I'll work all the way around the piece. Now that I've gotten rid of most of the thickness that I wanna remove, I'm gonna work on making this edge nice and straight. I'll also work on shaping this into an arrowhead. You can see how I'm getting a lot more symmetry now, getting it more into that arrowhead shape or spearhead shape. And I'm just gonna keep working it around and just keep knocking flakes off and get it smaller and thinner and more symmetrical. All right, I'm starting to work down to the point now. Using smaller flakes, just keep working it. And then I've also started putting in some notches towards the base end. And I'll just keep working it. Here's the finished arrowhead or spearhead. And you'll notice that a lot of the material from the original toilet porcelain has been removed um, in order to make it thinner and to shape it into the point that we wanted.